A xenomorph is, in some cases, uh, sort of a, a humanoid character. <laughs> He's got this big, nasty mouth with all these teeth. You've got the mouth open and the little mouth coming at you. And they open it up like they're gonna butt your face off. And then another mouth comes out. Xenomorphs are perhaps the uh, most dangerous uh, thing that anyone has ever encountered in space. There's no negotiating with this thing. It's, it's going to kill you. Alien had a guy in a suit, basically. He pretty much takes on an entire crew of people. And then you see in Aliens, we have pretty much a nest of aliens pretty much running rampant across a colony and taking all the people and causing all kinds of havoc. As a colonial marine, you can blow these guys away because you have pretty much the best artillery in the entire universe. These aliens, they will take you out and they will not be remorseful about it. The things that make Xenomorphs believable in the world and something that we're, we're working on for all of the characters is they have to have purpose. They have to have purpose and they have to feel like they are in command of their capacities. You know, they understand how to move through the environment as a creature that you believe in. They're trying to do things in the world, mostly try to kill you. Hives of aliens can conceivably have different types of aliens working together. And maybe in the films we didn't see all the types. Maybe in the video game we could see more of these types. So this inspired us to, to, to dream up more of how a, an alien hive would function and what other kind of Xenos would be part of that function. My favorite weapon in Aliens Colonial Marines is... Ah. Definitely it's the pulse rifle. The pulse rifle. It really is the pulse rifle. It's rapid fire. It's caseless. Easy to reload. Because you can blow shit away with that thing. It's got that grenade launcher there. I love the smart gun. That smart gun, that big thing. What's been fun about that is in video game form, now you can see what it's like to actually use it. And we've created a, you know, the user interface. And there's a little eyepiece that comes down. What is, what's on that eyepiece? We never saw that in the films. We have every weapon from the film in the game, and we also have some new ones. You have a lot more Marines in this game this time around. You have a lot more equipment. We definitely have a much larger arsenal. In Cameron's movie, we didn't see a lot of scopes and things like that. But this is a place where we can fill in those gaps, things that people are really familiar with. <laughs> So when we sat down to design the characters in Aliens Core Marines, we wanted to make new and interesting characters and not just rip off the old ones. We wanted to go as diverse as possible and create a group of people that make it feel like a, a badass aliens experience. It's one thing to watch the movies and we love those characters and that's great, but it's a passive experience. It's different. We're, we're approaching the first person shooter differently. We're, we're even approaching how we have a main character talk within first person in a totally new way that I don't think anyone's done before. Anyone who's played shooter games, if you've played any of the, the military shooters, if you've played any of the science fiction shooters, or if you, uh, if you love the, um, the Aliens franchise, you're not gonna wanna miss this one.